Good morning, everybody. Please excuse my bloodshot red eye. I'm having an allergic reaction to my dogs because I'm at my parents' house right now. But I thought I would start a vlog because first of all, I haven't vlogged in a really long time. And second of all, the next few days are gonna be pretty fun, also bittersweet, because I booked a one-way ticket out of Arizona for Tuesday, which is in three days, two days. If you didn't know, a little backstory. I just graduated college at Arizona State University. I've lived in Arizona for the past like 10 years, but I'm moving. I'm leaving Arizona for good now that I'm graduated and done and I officially booked my one-way ticket out of here. I thought I would vlog my last few days in Arizona because we have a fun couple of things planned. Zoe, my best friend in Arizona, she booked an Airbnb to stay in for tonight. So I wanted to vlog while we were there because we're having like a little staycation. A few of our friends are staying there, her friends. We're just gonna have like fun, cook dinner, play games. So that's I'm going right now. We're gonna have a sleepover. I'll vlog it. But yeah, it's so hot in Arizona. It's literally 9.02 in the morning and it's 91 degrees already. I literally can't breathe outside. Every time I open the car door, it feels like when you open the oven and like a hot air just hits you. So yeah, let's go to the Airbnb. Hopefully my eye stops being red. Being allergic to pets is literally the worst thing ever. I'm here with Zoe. Hey guys. We're having like a girls night. Actually not girls because Johnny's coming too. <laughs> Zoe brought me my favorite food in the entire world. Pliables, Nutella bowl. We're gonna cook pasta dinner or they're gonna cook and I'm gonna watch because I suck at cooking. Well, we have the real chef, which is Jordan. Oh, perfect. Yeah, she'll take over. Mm, fun Freddy's the best. And frosting. We're playing a game. So these are the two teams, the man versus the pocket. <laughs> <laughs> and then whoever kills the most people, like, oh. oh. <laughs> They're contemplating right now about what they think my morals are. <clears throat> are we ready? Okay. Yeah. Are we It's just me and Zoe alone. Everyone else slept for now. Oh, and we're the two that can't cook. We're gonna boil some water. That's about it. And then wait for them to get home and do the rest. We're making lemon pasta. <gasps> we should watch Avatar. We're sure we're doing that. It's like three and a half hours. Best movie ever. Okay, we got the real chefs now yeah. in the kitchen. <laughs> me and Zoe did cook that <laughs> pasta. Let's Yay! Throw it on a wall, see if it sticks. Yeah. That's how you see if it's ready. It. <laughs> that means it's really ready. Me and Zoe are really good at making pasta. <laughs> All right, now it's time to make the cake. You like That's the cardboard crazy. type thing? Wait, what? Shh. <laughs> <laughs> like one of those KitchenAid mixers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. No way you just said this glass bowl was empty. What yeah. if I had this? No, so this A cooking so channel. This looks so good, don't you think, everyone? Say, say it. Say, it looks <laughs> say yes. Uh, Can you tell we saw the Little Mermaid yesterday? Oh my god, guys, look how cute the outdoor area is. I saw the sign, and it opened. <laughs> and I was happy now, living without you. Hey okay, everyone, it's the next morning, post Airbnb. We just left, and now we're at the classic. Have I ever vlogged here? I probably. JJ's Deli. This is where we've come all of high school, through college. I still remember our orders. This is my final JJ's Deli bagel. Today, he even remembered my order. I haven't been here in months, and he was like, do you want that toasted or not toasted today? When the dinner is cold and the chatter gets old, you ask for the top. Oh, that moment again, he's insisting that friends look at each other like that. Of a sister come back and whispers the proof she was not. In fact, what she seemed not a twin from your dreams, she's a crook who was caught. That old familiar body ache, the snaps from the same little breaks in your soul. You know when it's time to go. Hi everybody, I'm currently in my hometown where I grew up in New Jersey. You just saw me leaving Arizona for the last time, I guess. I left on a one-way ticket and have no plans on ever going back or moving back. I'll probably go back, but maybe but I will never live there again. <laughs> I thought I would kind of explain what's going on right now because I feel like for the past few months it's been kind of all over the place and vague and you've seen me like talking about moving and like all this chaotic stuff. I don't want to repeat myself, but this was like supposed to be like my last days in Arizona and moving video. So I thought I'll just compile everything and talk about everything in this video as concisely as I can. I know I've mentioned it sporadically throughout other videos. So I thought I would just lay it all out as it is right now. There's a horse fly in here. Oh my God. 
Anyways, I'm gonna try to ignore that. It's on the window. The reason I left Arizona is because I graduated from Arizona State and then my little brother graduated high school at the end of May. He's going to college in Florida. No, please, no, I don't want to get bit. My parents are moving to Florida so that after this year my brother will get in-state tuition at school. So they're leaving Arizona and moving to Florida this summer, like over the next month. I left the room. I'm gonna close the door. I did not want to live in Florida I also had no plans of living at home ever again at first I was like I want to move back to England I studied there and I loved it and I was like I wanted to spend a year in London They wouldn't give me a visa because I'm self-employed and I do social media and they hate me So then I was like, okay, what was my alternate plan? My original plan before I studied abroad was I was gonna live in New York City and then I was thinking as much as I do love New York City, I don't really want to live there right now. I kind of want to live like a slow, peaceful life by the beach. I want to live in a walkable beach town. That's all I want. I was going to move to New York City because my brother, my older brother lives there, but he just got accepted to UCLA for law school. So he's moving to California. So I was like, oh my God, I literally know no one there too. I might as well move somewhere I know no one. That's like what I want, like a beach town for now. So I was doing research about where I was going to live and I have picked a place. Decided I'll be moving in August because I love spending my summers in New Jersey I stay at my cousin's beach house every single summer and I love it So I made that plan spend the summer here, which is where I am now I put all of my belongings in a storage unit They'll be getting moved in a moving truck when I have a place to move in August That's gonna be a whole other series on this channel is actually when I am moving and the new place I move and I know you guys are gonna love it as much as I do. It's so fun Everything is so aesthetically pleasing it's by the beach and I'm gonna get a car and I'm gonna have an apartment and I'm so excited. So that's just gonna be a whole new era that's starting in August that I actually wish I could start right now. But the reason I can't start right now is because I made plans to go backpacking this summer in Europe. I'm actually not backpacking, but the people I'm going with are backpacking, but me and Zoe paid to have a little suitcase. So I'm spending a few weeks in New Jersey, then I'm going backpacking with my brothers and each of our best friends, which is gonna be so fun. So there's gonna be six of us. And I'm so excited. The video from that, I feel like is gonna be so fun. We're doing that until mid-July. And then at the end of July, I'm going on a trip with my parents, which will be like our first family vacation. like with my parents and my siblings that we've like ever really gone on since I was a little kid. So that'll be fun. So I'm doing so much traveling and just bouncing around and living out of a suitcase for the next like two and a half months. And the videos from the summer I'm so excited about. There's just gonna be so much fun content. Just such good stuff coming and then moving vlogs will start and that whole adventure in a new place. And I'm just very excited. I lived in Arizona for 10 years and I spent most of like my formative developmental preteen teenage years in Arizona and it was crazy because I left so easily <laughs> which is so sad but I was just so done and like ready to start fresh and start somewhere new and I was I don't know you guys knew you followed me along my senior year and it was kind of a rough ride of just like wanting it to be over and now that it is over I feel like such a weight lifted off my shoulders and just leaving Arizona and everything kind of behind and getting to start somewhere new and focus on what I really love doing in my social media and hopefully making new friends and all new experiences, I'm very excited about. I think that's why I left Arizona kind of in such a rush and so excited to leave. I literally, this is so bad. I feel like I had no one to even say goodbye to. I literally had no one, I, I didn't say goodbye to anyone. I. I didn't even really tell anyone I was leaving, besides Zoe, who I'm gonna see in Europe, and Lauren, who I studied abroad with, but I'm also seeing her when I'm in Europe. I didn't even have to really say goodbye to her because I'm gonna see her again. I, I don't even feel sad about it at all, which is so crazy because I'm the most like nostalgic person ever. Like when I was studying abroad and it was like my last week abroad, I remember I would like go on walks every day and like really try to take everything in and just appreciate it so much. The last week I was in Arizona, I was like, I just want to leave. I just need to get out of here so bad. I just don't feel like myself here and I feel like it's just making me miserable. And I have no one and nothing really here that I feel like I'm leaving behind. Like, I feel like that is just so telling and it was just like, you know what, it's time to go. Taylor Swift said it best. Like that chapter of my life was just so done. That is the end of my Arizona era. I feel like I do have a lot of good memories there and I started my YouTube channel when I lived there and I started everything there, but I felt like I just didn't fit in anywhere, belong anywhere there. Just like felt like everything came to a close my senior year and it was just time for me to go. And I'm excited to settle down somewhere for a year and just like feel like I have a home. That was a long winded rant about my plans, but that is the situation. I don't want to like tell you exactly where I'm moving or 
what I'm doing in case it does change because I hate saying things before they're like finalized and I don't have like a lease signed until I have a lease signed. I'm not going to really talk about it because I don't want to jinx it. I genuinely believe in jinxing. So many things I've talked about prematurely end up falling through and I hate doing that. So we're not going to do that. I just wanted to give you like a long talking update. I love doing that. I have a good feeling for everything coming. I think if my family was staying in Arizona, I'd feel a little bit different being like I'm leaving at least my family behind. But because my family's also leaving, it's like literally on my plane as I was taking off on my one-way ticket I was listening to like it's time to go and rivers and roads and I was just like wow like I'm genuinely excited about the future and I haven't felt like that for a while thank you so much for listening to me ramble I hope you enjoyed this kind of last few days in Arizona it was a great way to like end on a good note that's the end of today's video that's everything I wanted to say and I hope you enjoyed watching it and closing the chapter on Arizona together and starting a new one very very soon and I hope you're as excited as I am for all the content to come I appreciate you guys so much because I feel like no matter where I go or what I feel like even when I was in Arizona and I felt like I had nothing there I did know that I always had you guys and I always could go and read my comments or my messages and feel so much better because at least I have people that like care and understand me to a certain degree and like that's actually the best thing ever and my favorite thing about doing all of this thank you guys for sticking with me through all of these eras that i've been in the upcoming year is going to be the best step for season of life i've had yet and i'm very excited and i'm going to bring you with me on everything and if you want to follow me on my other social medias to see what i'm up to in real time they're all linked down below as always and i'll see you in my next video very very soon bye